Oh, so yeah. do y'all do y'all think? Cause y'all see how they just put the scoreboard there. Do y'all think if Prime stays there like another three, four years, they'll start doing renovations to the stadium yep, to make rooms. more seat in there? Yeah, because they, um, know if, they need it though. They need it. Yeah, but, yeah, because the stadium is already packed out. But I was yeah. listening to um, like somebody from Colorado was speaking on it. I forgot who it was, but he was like. He was like, we unsure about adding more seat into it because you don't want to have it oversaturated. Whereas though people, those extra seats, people not coming to it. People not, yeah. you can't yeah. pack it out because you're yeah. expanding it too much. Yeah. So yeah. Like, I, say, uh, I say, he was like, basically you have to see it consistently like for years. And then that's yeah. how they that's how they add to it. He was like, for now, we just like basically like we just add certain sections. Like we'll take a, a I guess like a bad set, like because there's certain seats there that's like you might have a seat where it's like a big big pole in front of you, and like it might block two yeah. seats. You got to stand up the whole game. So what yeah, they're it's doing a beautiful is, view. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's they just, just, it's take just outdated. Them, they just take yeah. those seats. You see they those can press do it like, boxes? Those press yeah. boxes outdated as hell. Yeah. Do it like Jerry World. Do like a standing room only. Like the Braves. The Braves got a whole patio outside the stadium. You ain't even got to go inside. And you can watch yeah. the game. They got big screen TVs out there. Like all kind of stuff. Yeah, the Braves fans are uh, going hard I think on Western the stadium. Kentucky, I think Western Kentucky got something like that. Um, yeah. A standing yeah, a room cool. outside. They, they, they upgrade now. Bro, yeah, what you know, man? That, is yo, that that facilities put... look good. Miami finna get some new stuff done to their stadium. Yeah, my, yeah, Miami playing in the NFL stadium though. Pretty Vanderbilt, much. they finna get, they finna get that, they finna get a renovation. I don't like them. Um, I don't Texas. like, I don't like how Miami playing in the NFL joint, man. Because that should be Te- half packed Te- and all that. Take a second. Yeah, two hundred fifty million dollar renovation coming soon. Bro, if if Miami, I I I, I agree with that. They, I guess they was looking at. Oh, Miami was this, that in the early 2000s and the 90s. So we going to sell it out. But like, and then this is my school I'm talking about. Like, it's just not that no more. Like, it's not that no more. So that's why you're having problems packing the stadium out. Like, it's, it's yeah. crazy. They, I personally, they... yeah. I, I don't like stadiums that's not on campus anyway, personally. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of that's yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's no room to put it. Like, bro, I remember when they first built Miami's indoor facility because you know Miami was practicing outside on this old yeah. field for a long time, bro, a long time. And they they had they had to move some stuff and tear some stuff down just to put that indoor facility up, and that's why that took so long. For yeah. them to they get an the, indoor practice for sale. They got the basketball stadium on campus, though. <clears throat> yeah, that, yeah, they got to leave Colorado alone, man. Prime ain't going to be there that long. Them seats are going to be back to half full. I know, that's years. what I was thinking. <laughs> But they could at least they could at least redo the press boxes while he did. Like they gotta suites. do the press boxes. They gotta do that. Those That's suites true. and they can up they can um they can they can do upgrades to the to the concession stands as well. Like get more modern concession stands for um for the people. I, I this might sound like a dumb question, y'all, but can you buy alcohol at these college games? Yeah, no. yeah. I, n- yeah. I never been yeah, to a yeah. college football game. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was I drunk as heck at the uh, ASU Colorado game. I don't drink like that, and it was hot. Oh man! Well, well you ain't been, a, you ain't been in the Maryland game. <laughs> yeah, you nah, can, bro. You should go there. Yeah, you, you, you could pay me to go yeah, to a, a, a Maryland game. game. They in the Big Ten, man. Yeah, you could, you bro. You couldn't pay me to go to a Maryland game. That team oh. is trash. They, yeah, you hey, said, man. Hey, y'all see it. They put three dudes in the league this year. Yeah. I mean, they, they've been in the uh, bowl game like the last two, three years. Yeah. Hey, y'all see what you said right here? Do you have a plan for end season, like on game days? Are you going to try to go stream during oh, the game? game day, I was going to laugh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do pregame, during the game, and a post game. Yeah, like pregame, halftime. Definitely, definitely a post game. Po- yeah, post game for sure. 
I can't wait to get over here. And get well, I'm a, I'm a, a um, dedicated head. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a pregame before, and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna go live doing the um doing the game. So we just talking about shit, what's happening, whatever. Then after the game, we're gonna do a breakdown. Oh, um, that tiger! That's and, and, then, and then I'm gonna do it like last year. Yeah, last year I used to do a Sunday morning break. Well, when when it was at Jackson, I used to do a Sunday morning breakdown, like with all the stats and everything. Do another breakdown so you could really go inside the numbers. You know, after the game, you're just talking with emotions after the game. But once you sleep on and wake up in the morning, you look at the numbers. Some stuff kind of makes sense. Like, oh damn, we did have a whole bunch of penalties. Then we had this. That's why we lost, so that's why we won. Because we ran the ball more this game, you know. So I'm gonna break Tiger, that's down. gonna be lit. Yo, wait until, wait until, man. Tiger already told me what he gonna do during the season. Wait until y'all see his back. I don't want to give it away what he told me, but wait until y'all see his back, yeah. Y'all see how he's sitting in the house in that house with the line, with the tiger. But wait until we show y'all put put his joint up for this for the season, bro. That shit gonna be hard. Like yeah, it's gonna be bro. tough. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna have that jump right. They gonna be like that. Big. They have Tiger on the scene, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 doing the game, but we gonna be in the press box, boy. We gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, they gonna, they gonna, man, they gonna thank you, Uncle Neely, man. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, yeah, they gonna be there. Hey, hey, that's his twin. They gotta say, hey, we had the pregame show. I'm telling you, dude. Mm-hmm. I think if if we if we was at the game and we was walking behind you, they they'll take you for Neely. He'd be like, oh, oh yeah, they with me. Yeah, <laughs> they let bro. us in, <laughs> bro. Yo, 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 easy well, back in the building. This ain't no disrespect to white people. You know white people get get us confused all the time. So I can see that happening. I can see it, bro. I know. Uh, Big Tiger be on the field next to Prime, uh, man. <laughs> Nobody, no. When I went there, but I was the game. When I went to that game and I seen Juju Lewis and uh, Eric uh, Brantley, they looking at me like, that's Uncle Nilly. Like what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I had a black pants on, had a Colorado hat on, and had a Colorado shirt on. <laughs> and, like, oh, shit. and I had some LeBrons on. I had those black LeBrons with the gold on there. They was like, "Oh hell yeah, that one for Colorado all day." Be talking in pregame show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm trying to get three ladies. If I get three ladies, they're gonna come on here and talk that talk that um, good football talk too. Yeah, Tino it's Trump, gonna be lit. Brittany Griner, <laughs> Mia Khalifa. <laughs> what? Free right there. Oh, <laughs> Boy, he named all the stuff. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> he named all, so all the piece stuff. Y'all remember, y'all remember Prime had Tiana Trump? Or what's no? It was Brittany. Yeah, and Jay, no, Brittany no, Griner. Uh, Brittany. Not Griner. No, Brittany Rainer. Brittany Rainer. Yeah, Brittany Rainer. Not Griner, I was going to say. Hey, I'm not that trying, Mitch. He had Tiana Trump at JSU, man. They would have kicked Prom up out of there, man. Hey, hey, you're a wild boy, man. (laughs) Hey, yo, somebody said they would have kicked Prom up out of there. (laughs) Yeah, they they would. Funny as hell. He would have got the boot. Man. They're just about the same. They're about the same boot. Now, if you would have had like a pinky up there, or oh come on, <laughs> yeah, yo, this this man is wild. He said pinky. We're gonna burn the show it on screen. So y'all think we'll probably leave Colorado because he is because Jackson State that kind of died down. Is Colorado gonna die down that quick? As soon as he hey, bro, I'm not even gonna say that about Jackson. Yeah, State, yeah, because I heard they the favorite to win the uh, swag this year. Yeah, I think they still winning, but I'm just talking about the exposure that they get. You know. Yeah, I don't, bro. I don't know why they didn't keep like they should have had. They should have had somebody to keep their YouTube going, like create yeah. something. They do. They post every now and then. Like they should, man. And y'all heard what Bucky said. Bucky trying to get this well off media like at other schools now. Like, yeah, yeah they said they've been saying other schools been reaching out to him for a while now. 
Man, that'd be crazy. Yeah, be good, Luke point, man. You, see, you see he got other cameramen now, bro. Like he got other cameramen. So hopefully he giving them the game. Like, bro, this is how you do it. Like, you know, and then he could eventually start letting them venture off to other schools. Yeah, just think about how turned Bucky Channel finna be though, because they had a debate. They was like, uh, but Prime was like, Bucky stand with me. And Shador was like, man, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Bucky was just yeah. kind of quiet, but he going to do both. I know he's going to do both, but he finna have that NFL access now. With Shador, Bro, but I, do you, then he go to a different city where Silo at, then go to another city where Travis at. Like, it's going to be tough. You, you see Sh- Shador has a, a whole little team. You see, yeah, yeah he got a little team. But he this still was a, let Bucky get in and get his footage, you feel me? Bro, I'm glad you brought that up, bro, because this was a hot topic a while back. Do you do you and this is a question for everybody on the panel? Like, do y'all think the NFL will allow the access for Bucky oh, no. to uh film no, behind? No, you know, no, no, it would have to be like after after practice workouts and what should door eat and you know what he doing. It would have to be the stuff that ain't really like yeah. NFL, NFL, NFL. No, they ain't gonna let him on the field. So y- y'all think man. he, yeah, y- y'all think he will do stuff like off-season workouts during yeah. the season, like after practice, yeah. or yeah, stuff like that, stuff like, like having like pulled out the practice facility, and like his draft day. Oh, can y'all imagine well off for draft day? Ooh, Ooh, that's, just oh, that's, just the that, whole preparation process. It's gonna be lit, bro. bro. Yeah, for well, you know they gotta have to. Low. They they got to change that spring game date. Yeah, to make sure they don't say they 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 they, they had it might not last necessarily year. fall on yeah. the same day as the draft. Right. Mm-hmm. But, I, mm-hmm. but I think they try to but push as late as possible. This year did, because, because, yeah, because yeah, this year because of weather. Because yeah, of weather. yeah, they they had it late yeah. this year. It's going to be still messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's still ready to score. <laughs> right. Yeah, that draft day. Two hand, I think two hand touch. Colorado got in pads later than some of the schools. And that was the thing that I had asked somebody. I'm like, bro, like, how are other schools getting in their pads so early? And they was like, bro, that don't mean nothing. Like, every team, every school, the NCAA, give every school the same amount of practices. It don't matter, like, when they get them in them or whatever. I was like, oh, all right. I I understand now. Man, you had to get back with Bucky, man. Bucky had to really transition when he went to the Pac-12 because – Remember at JSU, like during the games, he'll put out clips. Of the yeah, game. yeah. The Pac-12 uh, came to him and said, "No, nah, you can't do that." Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of those uh, um, sanctions that Colorado got was because of Bucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Remember, yeah, uh, he also coverage right. He also had um, uh, access to the Instagram, and they took mm-hmm. it away. Yeah, no, yeah, I didn't know that. About it too. Yeah, he made they made a con- they took that joint away. You know, Bucky be wilding a little bit, man. He be calling people holes yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bucky, Bucky a wild boy. He tried to tone <laughs> it down a little bit, but he he a wild yeah, boy. Yeah, he definitely tried to tone it down. Yeah, he want to get that back, but uh, yeah, clean up his image some. Yeah, that access gonna be crazy. That. Do y'all think Shiloh gonna go to the draft? Or he going to stay at the crib? Bro, he, I mean, nah, he's going to he, go with his brother, though. Yeah, he's going to go with his brother. Yeah. Yeah. I think, bro, honestly, how big of a star he is in college football, like, I think he'll get get a green room. Like, I think he'll be in the green room. Like, that's just how now, I feel I don't think he'll be in the green room, but you know how ESPN, like, when people – who popular get drafted like in the third, fourth round? They'll still like have the cameras at their house and show it on TV. I think that's what'll happen with Shiloh. Bro, but but I don't know about that, bro. I mean, I get what you're saying, and I I, I mean, I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with you. But look at the look at the Texas defensive lineman that got drafted. He wasn't even there at the draft, bro. He was he was at like a bar or something like. They yeah. set up couches and stuff at a bar. I forgot his name. They, Everybody they don't on know who I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, but I think they're gonna have a they don't make sure I think, yeah. I, think uh, I think Justin May. Yeah, Shador is gonna have a green room. Him and Travis Justin, Hunter. I forgot I Travis Hunter. We forgetting to to Travis Hunter. Yeah. No, Travis See, I don't Thomas think Bucky, I don't think Bucky uh helped Travis with his YouTube stuff because Travis do his own thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, Travis and Shador both got their own team, but they both cool with Bucky, so they'll let Bucky get some footage and use the footage for his stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I like Travis. I, mean, I like Travis' whole style, man. He's just different. He do what he yeah. does, man. Don't get no trouble. Just a good dude, yeah. man. He don't yep. care about me. He want to fish. Find a Travis, man. Yeah, exactly, bro. He, he he is like he is like how LeBron James was, bro. Like nobody can name a stain on LeBron James' jacket. Like he don't have no stains, bro. He just was clean cut his whole career. Like never got yeah, in trouble. Bro. Never. Except for he yeah. balled, that's about it. And, and, and the thing about Travis, man, he ain't no square either. You saw how he exactly. did with the, I think Washington State when he yoked yeah. him up. Hey, the dude took his elbow up. Boy. Yeah. He a dog. Tra- Travis a dog for real. He just he a cool real like, one. Yeah. You don't Travis want that dog to come out of him. He, he a dog for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I got a serious question. Go ahead, rock out. Right. This, this ain't about Colorado, but hey, this it's serious. Y'all think my Cowboys win the Super Bowl? Oh, come on. Hell yeah. 